weather and climate we experience weather changes frequently some days are hot and sunny other days it may be a little cloudy or windy weather can be defined as the condition of the atmosphere at a particular place and time the weather can be hot cold cloudy dry windy or humid and generally keeps changing a similar kind of weather in a particular place over a long period of time is called climate factors causing change in weather weather changes are caused due to the effect of the sun's heat on the earth changes in temperature movement of air and changes in the states of water are some phenomena caused by the sun which result in change in weather let us see how this happens changes in temperature during the mornings and evenings the sun being low in the sky its rays fall on the earth in a slanting way so the mornings and evenings are cool by noon the sun is overhead and its rays fall directly on the earth which is why it is the hottest part of the day thus it is generally hotter at noon than in the mornings and evenings the higher the temperature the hotter it is and the lower the temperature the cooler it is air pressure is the weight of air as experienced from all directions on land when air heats up it rises and creates an area of low pressure on the earth's surface the surrounding cool air moves in to replace this rising air this air comes from areas where the pressure is high this movement of air from high pressure area to low pressure area causes wind The wind is sometimes a light pleasant breeze. At other times it can be very strong and can cause a storm or a hurricane. Sea breeze. Land absorbs and cools faster than the sea. Post afternoon when the earth releases heat The hot air from the land rises and cool humid air from the sea blows towards the land. These are called sea breezes. Land breeze. Unlike land, water absorbs and releases heat much slowly. So in the night when the land is cooler than the sea the air above the sea rises and cool breeze from the land blows over the sea this is called land breeze states of water Water is present in three states solid liquid and gaseous It can interchange its state upon heating or cooling When ice that is the solid state is kept out at room temperature or is heated it turns into water 
that is liquid state. This process by which a solid changes into its liquid state is called melting. When water is cooled at very low temperatures, it changes back into ice. This is called freezing. When water is heated, it changes from its liquid state to its gaseous state. This form of water is called water vapor. The process by which a liquid changes into its gaseous state is called evaporation. Water vapor on cooling changes back into water. This is called condensation. Other forms of water such as rain, dew, fog, snow and hail are the result of evaporation and condensation that goes on in the atmosphere. Water cycle Water in the oceans, seas, rivers and lakes gets heated by the sun and evaporates, forming water vapor. This water vapor rises up. When this water vapor comes in contact with the cool air high up or a mountain, it condenses to form tiny drops of water. These tiny drops join together to form clouds. As more drops join together, the clouds become heavy and come down in the form of rain or snow. The rain water flows down into the rivers, lakes, seas and oceans. Water from rivers, lakes, seas and oceans evaporates again. This cycle keeps going on in the nature. This is called the water cycle. Dew Water vapor in the air at night gets deposited on relatively warmer surfaces like stones, leaf blades of grasses and plants. This is called dew. Fog It is a thick cloud of tiny water droplets suspended in the atmosphere at or near the surface of the earth. It becomes thicker when the nights are cold and windy. Fog reduces the visibility and makes traveling difficult. Snow When air in the atmosphere is very cold, the condensed water droplets convert into ice in the form of snowflakes. Snowflakes are of different shapes and sizes depending upon the temperature and humidity in the area. Hail This type of precipitation occur in places where rains are frequent. In these places, sometimes in winters, the water droplets freeze into marble-sized pellets of ice. As these are too heavy to stay overboard in clouds, they fall on the earth causing hailstorms. Hailstorms are mostly accompanied by thunderstorms. Water pollution 
water is one of our basic needs. We need water for our day-to-day -day activities and more importantly, potable, that is safe to drink water for drinking and cooking. Water pollution is the contamination of water bodies by throwing harmful substances into them directly or indirectly. This makes the water unfit for use and at times even dangerous. Waste water from factories, power plants and manufacturing industries contain many harmful and toxic substances. We must remember to not pollute water which is a very valuable natural resource. Water must be purified before use. Here are some methods of water purification. Boiling When water is boiled for about 20 minutes, the germs present in it are killed. Boiled water must be then stored in clean vessels and bottles. It is advisable to use boiled water for drinking purpose. Sedimentation The natural process by which insoluble impurities in a liquid mixture settle down to the bottom forming a solid layer is defined as sedimentation. If the mixture of soil and water is stirred and left undisturbed for a few hours, then the soil particles start settling down slowly at the bottom of the vessel. It is only when the water is clear that the process of sedimentation is complete. The solid impurities that settle down at the bottom of the vessel are called the sediments. Decantation The process of draining of the partially clear liquid after sedimentation is called decantation. During decantation, it is important to leave behind a small amount of liquid in the container in order to prevent the sediment from flowing out of the container and getting mixed up with the clear liquid. The water that collects over the layer of impurities during sedimentation can be separated by draining it into another beaker by decantation. Chlorination Adding certain chemicals to water to kill germs is called chlorination. Chlorination is frequently used, especially in big water tanks and swimming pools. However, chlorine water is also likely to cause some skin-related diseases and thus has certain disadvantages. Filtration These days, most people make use of filters to strain or filter out impurities in water. When water is passed through the filter, the impurities present in it stick to the filter candle, thereby letting clean water pass through. Golden Rules for Handling Water Always use clean vessels with a lid to store water. 
Use a proper ladle to take out water from the container. Wash your hands before touching the glass and the ladle. Always turn the tap off when not in use. Repair leaking taps immediately. Washing fruits and veggies in a big bowl. And then using that water for watering plants will be a better idea than to wash them under a running tap. Take a shorter shower or fill your bucket with water rather than taking a long shower. We must use water consciously and conserve it for future generations.